Um, um, hey guys, what's up? I'm the Paradigm 7 here, and welcome to my newest episode of my NASCAR review show. As I review Talladega, and for the seventh time this season, Danny Hamlin takes on the win with Eric Jones second, um, Tyndo in third, William Byron fourth, and Chase Elliott in the top five. Now, now, of course, there are some big ones in there, which Kyle Boyce, he's been involved in multiple big ones during the course of a race. Of course, that last one there pretty much put him out. He finishes 27th, I believe. But, however, though, the main thing, and I'm pretty sure mo the majority of um, folks working with NASCAR, as well as the NASCAR media, they're probably going to they're probably gonna talking about it for quite a long time to come. And that was what happened on that last lap. Denny Hamlin... Now, and now here's the thing, and now, but here's one thing perfectly clear. Well, you know what is? So I was gonna give you my point of view of this. NASCAR, in my opinion, clearly made the wrong call. Clearly made the wrong call. Danny Hamlin was below the yellow line, advancing his position. So therefore, according by rule, if you advance, if you were below the yellow line to advance your position, should be penalized. And, and in my opinion, Hamlin, in my opinion, should have been penalized because of the fact that now, now of course, maybe NASCAR on the other end may have thought, well, maybe he was forced below the other line. Okay, but, but in my, now, but it's just, it's just strictly my own opinion, Hamlin was below the other line, so therefore, I felt like the win, I, I felt like the win should have gone to at least, Eric Jones at least. Now, um, Matt DiBenedetto, who was leaning on the last time, now, now we, now, showed he did, however, force William Byron below the other line, so therefore, but, so this is why, so this is why DiBenedetto ended up finishing outside the top 20, I believe. I'm, I'm thinking like 21st, maybe, around there, after originally finishing second, and, and then, and then on the other thing, you have Chris Busher. Replay now, now Chase Elliott, now Chase he did go below the online, but however NASCAR later rescinded his penalty, which, which end up which that's probably how Chase ended up getting fifth after Chris Busher actually pushed him below the online. So, and now. However, though the rule also states that if you if you were if you force someone below the other line, you may be penalized. You, know, you may be penalized. So I think that's what happened to Chris Busher on the Chase Elliott situation. So that's why Busher ended up finishing 22nd, while Chase ended up finishing fifth. So I don't know, guys. Well, um, um, no matter which way you look at it, and. Um, um, and no matter which way you slice it, it is controversial either either way. But either way it is controversial. And but and here's another thing, NASCAR and not to mention NBC too, they also made a big error by instead of showing the crazy last couple laps, what do they do? They end up switching to local news instead of you know keeping the race on the main NBC network. And instead they end up switched to NBCSN, I believe. Oh boy. And for some people, and for some people, I think they're kind of upset that they missed that crazy finish. Mm. So, oh boy. So I, I don't know, guys. Um, um, no matter which way you look at, it, it is very, very controversial. Mm. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Oh, and and before I end the video. I want to send my well wishes, well wishes to our president, to our president of the United States, after recovering from COVID. Oh, and also the first lady. I want to wish them well in their speedy recovery. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Audios, peace, God bless, and tune in next week as the Cup Series head to the Charlotte Rovo for the last race, up for the last race of the round of twelve. All right, guys, take care. Audios, peace, and God bless, and stay safe.